Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back. So I'm going to do an eye tutorial. It's not going to be a full face, but I was just kind of excited to use this palette. I'm losing some daylight here, so that's why the quick eye look. So some of you might know my birthday was just very recently, and for my birthday, my friend Beth got me the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. I wanted this when I first heard about it. I was really super excited about it, and then I talked myself out of it. I'm kind of in a makeup slump at the moment. I should say a makeup buying slump. So I kind of talked myself out of it. I was like, eh, I'll get it eventually, just not right now. Well, she decided to get it for me for my birthday because she said that she thought I would love it and I needed it. So here it is. You have all seen it. Everyone has seen this palette. Look how pretty. You've seen the colors. Well, what's funny is for the longest time I thought this was purple. I think it looks purple on the screen, but it's kind of like a purpley brown. So, but it is a beautiful palette. The colors are gorgeous and this whole, this whole palette just screams Felicia. Like it should say Urban Decay Felicia palette on here and not heat. So anyway, I am going to do a quick look for you guys using this palette. I have no idea what I'm going to do. I'm just gonna kind of start. Oh, also for my birthday came this beauty blender, which I haven't had an actual beauty blender in quite some time. That came with the Naked palette and also uh, Kiehl's Midnight Recovery and then a brow set from Anastasia. So I'm going to start off with a little bit of soft, soft, I can't talk, soft ochre from MAC and that is going to act as my base. Why do we prime our eyelids? Why do we do it? Most of you know, but let's do a, let's have a little refresher discussion. Why do we prime? Because it helps our eyeshadow to go on smoother, right? It helps our eyeshadow to stand out. It helps it to look better. It prevents creasing. Uh, it adds to long, the longevity of our eyeshadow. These are all reasons why we use a primer. Even if you have dry eyelids, you know, and you think, I don't really need to prime. Trust me, if you prime your eyelid, your eyeshadow will stand out that much more. It'll just look, the colors will look truer if you prime. I always use Paint Pots from MAC. Those are my favorite. It's the only, the only primer that I use on my eyes. This is actually an eyeshadow, but it works so well as a base. All right, I'm going to use a big old flat brush and I'm going to take a little bit of this color here which is called ounce. It looks like it has a little bit of a sheen to it so that might actually be a satin finish. This is ounce right here, the sort of off-white and I'm using a big old fluffy brush. It's a flat brush. This is going to go all over my lid. The reason that I'm doing this is because I find that sometimes my eyeshadow, when I go to apply it, will skip just a little bit or it'll stick in certain uh, certain spots on my eyelid if the paint pot hasn't dried completely and so I'll get part I'll get spots on my lid where the color really stuck and then I, I can't blend it out. I typically use a matte finish but I wanted to use everything from this palette so that's why I decided to use this one. We're gonna start in the crease and I'm going to start with sauced this one right here. I've lost a lot of light here. Luckily my camera can compensate for that because I've learned how to use the settings properly. Woohoo! <laughs> it only took what? Eight, nine months? Nine months it took. I'm using this teeny tiny brush. This is a Sonia Kashuk brush. You guys remember when I used to use her brushes all the time? It was Mac and Sonia Kashuk. So I got a question in comments from another video that I made. I can't remember which one it was. It wasn't actually a makeup tutorial. Somebody was questioning, or someone was asking me about the straight across method, which I think is probably used by people who have maybe droopy eyes. You know, like if your your eyes droop in this outer corner. Basically, what I think this straight across method is is exactly what it says. You just kind of apply your eyeshadow more sort of straight across your brow bone. But I find that for me right now, I don't really need to do anything like that. Just going a little bit higher corner is sort of helping to compensate for the fact that I'm getting just a little bit of droopiness out here. Now, when I said in that video that I go a little bit more narrow out here, meaning I angle in and then I sort of come up and I'm creating sort of this type of shape, 
obviously I'm still coming up onto my brow bone as you guys can see so what I'm doing is I'm just coming up a little bit higher I'm creating some height now obviously this may not work out best for everybody because you may not have a lot of room between your eyebrow and your crease or your brow bone so you just have to sort of make adjustments accordingly uh, based on how much room you have but for me coming up a little bit higher out here and arching up to create some height is really helping to sort of lessen the look of that droop even though I am bringing the color down I'm still coming up a little bit higher right out here like I said to compensate for that droop but I want the height to be in this area right I don't want to go up too high out here I guess that's kind of like what that straight across method is is you're creating height out here depending on the amount of droop you have yeah you have to make some adjustments but for me right now at this point I'm not so droopy that I need to go up you know higher or do this sort of straight across method that people are talking about but you can see see here I'm, I am still coming up I am still creating some height but I want I want my look I want my eye look to be more rounded you know what I mean so that's why I'm creating the height in this area as opposed to out here I hope that makes sense I hope it didn't confuse anyone all right I think I'm going to use cayenne which is this one right here this is going to go into the outer corner and to I'd say about halfway to my crease so about right there I'm really concentrating that color here I'm not going to take it all the way over I'm going to switch up my brush and I'm going to use one of my small blank canvas brushes this is an E10 socket brush and I'm going to go into cayenne and I'm really going to concentrate that out here in this outer corner and I'll kind of bounce it onto my lid here just a little bit what a pretty color you're right Beth this palette is very nice thank you so much you know what's funny is I haven't used Urban Decay in a long time I don't remember the eyeshadows going on this smooth did they change their you know did they change their um, formula because I feel like the mattes I feel like the mattes in this palette are going on so smooth does anyone else has anyone else noticed that or is it just me let me know sometimes my brush situation over here is really super annoying all I wanted to do was look for the brush that I used for my eyebrows to fill in that little spot and I couldn't even find it you want to see what I use for my brushes well this isn't all of my brushes I have more over here and then I actually have a shoe box full of brushes makeup brushes in my bottom drawer of my dresser I have a problem I did have a problem I have way too many anyway look so here's some brushes there's some liners there's some more brushes there's some brushes there's some more liners so I love this thing right because look at it spins pretty cool right and I can put all kinds of stuff in there but sometimes I can't find what I need Ugh, super annoying of course I'm annoyed by something that I chose to do how can you be pissed about something you chose to do all right I'm gonna go back into sauce but I'm gonna use a different brush I'm going to use a brush that's a little bit fluffier. I'm going to use this 224. I haven't used a 224 in a long time. This is actually my custom 224, okay? If you look at this 224, you will see that there is a huge difference in how these look. This one right here, this guy, was very, 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 very well loved and used at MAC when I worked there. And we were going to toss this brush in the garbage because it was just... it. I mean there's hardly any br bristles in it compared to other 224s and I was like no 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 I'm gonna keep that that's gonna be perfect for my eye shape which it is so anyway that's the story behind my little custom 224 and when I say custom I mean <laughs> it looks like that because it was washed about four million times anybody ever work for Mac you know how Saturdays like Friday Saturdays and Sundays can be Friday night all day Saturday and then for six hours on Sunday so you're basically doing makeup almost the whole time right and so you wash your brushes at night um, and then during the day you spot clean well these brushes get spot cleaned I can't even tell you how many times 
that's why that little brush looks the way it does. Okay, now I'm going to go into En Fuego, this one right here, next to Cayenne. I was going to use this one, but I feel like these two colors, I don't know. Should we just like <clears throat> layer? Should we just layer colors today? I mean, why not? All right, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go into He Devil. And I'm going to use this little e.l.f. brush, which is one of my favorites. It's a crease brush. One of my Instagram friends, is it Susie? Is it you, Susie, that posted that picture about all the e.l.f. brushes? And I was like, yeah, I love those brushes. I have so many of them. I actually have a little stash of brand new e.l.f. brushes in the bottom of my cart. Talk about having a serious problem. Ooh, this is pretty. Sorry, you guys, I forgot to zoom in. That's a pretty color. This one is He Double. It's so funny because um, He Double, it doesn't sound like it goes together, right? Because She Devil. You guys ever see that movie? All right, the next color I'm going to use is I'm going to use En Fuego, which is that color right there, right? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna use. That's the color I'm using. Same brush. We're just gonna use all the colors in the palette today, okay? So I can really annoy some of you. Some of you will be quite annoyed by my overuse of this palette in today's, in today's quick eye look, right? All right, this is going to go out here and again, pushing into the outer corner. All right. I bet you everybody who owns this palette that has made a tutorial went for like lumber on their eyelid. I don't know if I want to do that. What to do? Eh, oh my god, has anybody ever seen Tropic Thunder? There's a part in Tropic Thunder that, uh, um, oh my god, what's his name? Les? He's played by, what is that guy's name? I actually can't stand him. Tom Cruise. And he's on the phone with the guys who kidnapped, uh, what's his name? And he's like, he's going on and on and he's like freaking out and he goes, I'm talking scorched earth. <laughs> <laughs> oh okay, so the name of this eyeshadow is Scorched. That's where all that was heading to. That's where all that was leading to was scorched. Oh, you know what I just noticed, you guys? There isn't really a very good highlight color in here, is there? I may have to venture out of this palette. All right, I'm gonna use lumber because I don't feel like walking around with a, with a too dark of an eye look, even though I'm not going anywhere. It's like three o'clock in the afternoon. Hey, let's put makeup on three o'clock in the afternoon. All right, so I am. I'm gonna use lumber, finger, because why not? I've actually lately been really into wearing matte eye looks. I haven't worn a shimmer or a glitter on my eyes in probably two weeks. I just haven't been in the mood for it. If you haven't seen Tropic Thunder and you don't mind sort of like raunchy comedy, you need to go, you need to see it. You need to rent it. You should stop watching right now and go to Amazon and rent Tropic Thunder and watch it. That's a joke. Wait till after the video. My fingers are actually way too big to be doing this. I have manly hands, I do. I got my hands, like the shape and everything of my hands from my father. I have my father's hands. And Mike always says that I have, my husband, he always says that I have ridiculously strong fingers. I don't know where I got that from. We were at Sam's Club. And if you've ever been at Sam's Club, you know how the store is sort of set up, right? Everything's on pallets and crap is stacked up. So one day, we're walking down one of the aisles and there was a section that was empty, right? But it wasn't tall enough for me to stand under. And so Wyatt gets under there and he's like kind of hanging on to the little metal piece uh, that sticks out from, what is that? What is, what is that? Do you know when we go to Sam's Club? And, and they have everything stacked up on the metal shelves, the metal shelving, that's it, metal shelving. Or I couldn't think of what I was trying to say. All right, so anyway, the metal shelving, right? So there's about that much space that sticks out from underneath. So I got under there and I put my fingers in and I brought my, knee, my legs up off the floor so I was dangling from this little metal thing. So I would say I was hanging on 
with about that much that much of my hand right there and I did pull-ups with just that much of my fingers my fingers are strong they are ridiculously strong mr. Jones just went in the bathroom he's not going number two he's only going number one but he's got his phone on in there how many people take the phone into the bathroom even when you're only going to be in there for just a minute you know what I think is funny is when you're out at a store and you go to the bathroom and you can hear the person in the next stall like watching a movie or a YouTube video. It's like seriously how long do you plan on being here and do I need to get out of here soon? That's the funniest thing right? Guys go to the bathroom and they just let it happen. They just let nature happen. They don't care if there's 20 guys sitting in the bathroom. They just go in there, let her rip, they ooh and ah high-five each other underneath the stalls, right? Women go in there and we're like, you're listening? Did they leave yet? Okay, cool. <laughs> oh my God. You ever do like the little sneak thing where you look underneath the stall to see if there's any feet? Am I the only person that does that? <laughs> my God, I can't talk about this. I can't talk about this anymore. Okay, I'm really liking this eye look, but I need some kind of inner corner highlight. So, all right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go put my concealer on. <clears throat> like I'm gonna get up and go do that. I'm gonna put some concealer on. And then I will, I will find a color for the inner corner. I think I know what I'm gonna use, but um, let's do this first. So a little bit of hard candy. I've been using this a lot lately. This is a color corrector, it's peach. What, what, what colors do peach correct or neutralize, right? You got it? Anything blue or purple, peach will neutralize that, right? You don't want to put um, yellow on top, which you could, but it's going to make the area look gray. So on the color wheel, complementary colors, blue and orange, right? So that's why you would use something orange tone to counter the look of blue or even into purples. Now if you have redness on your face, people think to automatically put green on there to correct, but green just makes your skin look gray. It looks unnatural. So what you do is, instead of using something green, you use yellow. Yellow will neutralize red and make the area look more like your natural skin color as opposed to green, which makes you look like a corpse. And yes, I know you're putting foundation on, but you gotta use a lot of foundation to cover that green crap that's all over your face. Don't do that. Just use yellow. Just use yellow. A little bit of Pro Long Wear from MAC. And what I've been doing is I've been putting like a little teeny strip. See there on the sponge? Gosh, I hope that wasn't too bright. I looked up at the viewfinder and I thought maybe I was looking a little too bright. Since I've been doing like manual settings, I have to be really careful with my ISO and my f-stop because if I don't, I will make the image way too bright. I've already had to, t to trash two makeup tutorials because when I went to go edit, it was way too bright. All right, let's do a little bit of powder. I can't wait till this is gone so I can buy my NARS powder. I really don't like this stuff, but I'm not going to toss it. I just won't ever buy it again. It's the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pour. Yeah, I'm just not a big fan. Okay, for my inner corner highlight, I am going to use Champagne Pop from Becca. Right? Yeah. I have two of these. The mirror on this thing is so big. Like, I don't understand the point in having a mirror this big on this kind of, I don't know, I guess I, I, guess I do get it because it's a face, but still, it's, it's so heavy. Anyway, I'm going to use Champagne Pop. I didn't buy this. Uh, my good friend Martha sent it to me um, because she didn't like the color. I like that. Champagne Pop looks good with this. I like it. Should I do liner? Am I in the mood? Should we just do like a smoky diffuse look today? What to do? What to do? I don't know. I'm gonna put something along the bottom and then I'll decide if I want to put, you know, some liner on. So let's let's just let's just wing it. 
Okay, I'm just gonna go right into En Fuego, which was the darker color here with this little teeny tiny brush. Do you guys remember Sears used to have a makeup section? Um, color Works. They had a whole makeup section in Sears, this little kiosk thing. And they had eyeshadows and brushes and everything. And I remember I went in there one day and I was like, I want some makeup brushes. And this was years and years and years ago. This was, heck, this was when I was married the first time. So we're talking like maybe, when did I get married? I got married in 1994 or 95. I got married in 94. So it had to have been after I finished ultrasound school, so it must have been like 99 or 98. Anyway, I went in there and bought a bunch of makeup brushes and I don't know what I was doing because at that time I didn't really wear makeup. I don't even know why I bought them. Anyway, this brush is from that whole set. I saved this one. I'm glad I saved it though because it's like the perfect brush for my eyes right now for like getting into all those little areas especially when I want to connect the top to the bottom. This eye is so much more deep. It's so much more like set into my skull, especially when I'm trying to like get into this outer corner. This is gonna be a long video. There's nothing quick about this because I'm talking so much. All right, and then we're gonna take Lumber, which is the shimmery color, and we're gonna put that on the rest of the lower lash line, the remaining part of the lower lash line. And what to use? What brush? I'll use this one. This is from an old Smashbox palette. I know you can't see, but I can't do this looking straight ahead. My head has to be down. So all I'm doing is I'm going from here and I'm meeting it up with En Fuego. Oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. And then I'm gonna go back in the champagne pop and add just a bit more right in here. We'll do some liner. It seems like everybody likes eyeliner anyway, so let's go ahead and do it. And yeah, I'm breaking out the tape because I don't feel like messing around today. When you're gonna do this tape thing, make sure you just keep your forehead relaxed and just look straight ahead into your mirror because if you don't the tape's not going to go on right the liner is not going to look right the tape won't set on your eye correctly so that when you go to put your liner on and then you take the tape off the, the line's just not going to look right so keep your forehead relaxed just look straight ahead in your mirror and then put the tape on i have to get kind of close so i'm going to sink down and i'm going to put the tape on one done too done. I can't ever get the tape to go on symmetrical. I always have one side that's up just a little bit higher than the other, but I'm okay with that as far as like my need for things to look a certain way, because as long as the line is straight, if it's off just a little bit, I'm okay with that. But I have to have a straight, nice, sharp line. Otherwise, then I have a problem. All right. Let's begin. When I do this, I have to raise my eyebrows to stretch out the skin on my eyelid. Because I'm 45. Actually, who am I kidding? I've been doing that for years. You always have the little spots on your eyelids that you just need to stretch out, right? I think everybody does. Of course, I didn't wear makeup when I was 20, so I don't know if that's something that you do but I see a lot of young people doing this right I'm pulling on their eyes one done all right so mascara we're gonna skip this part because there's no sense right nobody likes to see that so I'm gonna use two mascaras I'm using my favorite this is my favorite from L'Oreal the lash paradise I I'm almost even out of this and I just bought it a few weeks ago but I adore this mascara i guess from looking at it maybe it's a dupe for Too faced better than sex i don't know but this stuff is amazing and then i got this from maybelline it is the the falsies big eyes i bought this because ta-da look at how tiny that brush is it's perfect for those bottom lashes um 
and it doesn't transfer on me, which is nice. And then I don't really use this. I have a couple times like um, over the top of this. The brush on this end is unique, um, but I kind of made a mess on my eyelids the one day I tried to use it because it's it's not just a round. It kind of it kind of does one of these numbers, and so I made a little bit of a mess. All right, onward. All right, so my eye look is done. Should I do the rest of my face? I think I will. I will tell you guys very quickly what I already have on. I used a little bit of my Studio Fix. The reason that I use Studio Fix today is simply because I don't want it to go to waste and I need to use it. Not for any reason in particular other than it's wasteful. Um, I used for a little bit of bronzer. I just realized you guys were really close to my face. I bronzed up a little bit with Match Master Concealer in 7.5 from MAC. And I just put a stripe along the top of my cheekbone and a little bit on my forehead and buffed that in. So that is so far what I have on my face. I am going to use, I'm going to go for an overall sort of warm look to my face today. So for my bronzer I'm going to use Medium Tan Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC. This, this crown brush is my like absolute all time favorite as far as like putting um, blush and bronzer on and so I'm just going to zoom back in. And it's a little bit more on the warm side which is why I'm using it today because like I said I just want to go for an overall warm look to my face. And I will take it down my neck a little bit because most people, you know you have natural shading from your chin so you get this sort of white spot right here. So I'm just going to go over that. Oh my gosh you guys, I love how awesome Champagne Pop looks as an inner corner highlight with that that lumber. Is it, what is it? Lumber? Yeah. On the eyelid, it's very pretty. And then I am going to use a blush. I'm going to use Swiss Chocolate from MAC. Now this actually does not turn orange on me. Some of you will know this about me, that a lot of my hair is driving me nuts. It keeps getting caught on the hood. Um, a lot of you know that when certain blushes that I use will actually turn a shade of orange on me and I hate it and I have a really tough time with it so a lot of times you guys know I just wear bronzer because it's easier it doesn't turn orange but Swiss chocolate from MAC in blush form does not change on me it stays the same color in here as you know on my cheeks you guys know what I'm trying to say it doesn't change which I like all right, so same brush, and I'm just going to bounce the brush into that, and I'm just going to plop that kind of right here. I usually do my um, highlight first and then my blush, but I got kind of excited. <clears throat> I wanted to tell you guys that. All right, and then kind of sticking with the warm theme here. Some of you guys aren't going to have this. I would be willing to bet that most of you, if not all of you, that watch do not have this so I apologize this is a mineralized uh, blush from Mac it's called uplifting I use it as a highlight sometimes because it's just too much as a blush so I just use my finger and I just tap it right onto the top of my cheek it's just too it's too shiny for a blush for me so that's why I like to just use it as a highlight can you guys see? And then, as always, I just take my blush brush and I go right over the top, pressing in. I almost just said, woo, we're done, but we're not done because I forgot about the lip. We're going nude, y'all. All right, I'm going to use this lip liner from OCC. It's called Trick. It's just a brown neutral shade. Okay, so I lined my lips and filled them in with the lip liner and now I'm going to use Boy Bait uh, Cream Sheen from MAC. I'm not a big gloss person but this is probably my probably my all-time favorite gloss ever. Alrighty guys so that is it. I am done with my quick eye look because it was supposed to be quick but instead I talk too much but I'm in the mood to talk today. I have two drinks in front of me. Look. This one has Diet Coke, this one has Diet Mountain Dew. I have a problem. All right, that's it. Beth, you are the best. Thank you for this. Like seriously, thank you. 
I, I mean, it is beautiful. And the colors are just very Felicia. They're very me. That's my name, Felicia. And it completes my little collection that I have over here. I'm sure they'll come out with another one sometime in the future. Um, I already scratched it on accident because when I stuck it in there, it scraped against it scraped against my naked smoky palette. So kind of sucks, but that's okay. So anyway, Beth, thank you again. This is awesome. I'm very happy to have it, and I will I will use that probably more than all of my other Urban Decay palettes. I feel like they changed the formula. I don't know. Somebody, somebody please tell me if they changed the formula. Sorry, I couldn't. Everything's got to be facing out. So like these two don't have Urban Decay written on the spine, right? So they're both facing this way with the opening out. And then these three have the words Urban Decay facing out. So dumb. Okay, that's it. One more look on the eyeballs. There you go. I'm going to turn my head a lot and model like a lot of the other girls do, right? Because that's what they all do. Plus, I don't want you to notice that uh, my eyeliner is a little bit crooked. So if I do like this, you can't tell. And then the lip. I think it's pretty. I've been doing that a lot lately. Just filling in and putting some gloss on. Well, boy bait, which is why it's almost empty. I need a new one. Hold on, you guys. Impromptu model session. What do they, what do they all do? Wait, the sleeve. Can't forget about the sleeve. Right, they all have their sleeve up like this and they're like... No. Hold on. Alright guys, that's it. I'm done making an ass of myself. So seriously, let me know what you think of my eyeball look. Oh my god, you were outside in those pants? Yeah. It's too hot for that guy. You trying to give yourself a heat stroke? No. What the heck is wrong with kick? Off. What? I have a girl. Well, there you go with some nice sunburn. Why well, I get any sunburn? He's so tan. Alright guy, get out of here. Yeah. I wish I had his abs. <clears throat> I want Wyatt's abs. Look at that. Jeez. Get out of here. Hey, stop being salty. He said salty. You don't even know what that means. Kids still use that word? He just said, I don't even know what that means. I don't think he realizes that that word was in use long before he came around. Yeah, that's the word salty. Salty. Quit being salty. Hey, Mom, you don't even know what that means. All right, now I'm really going to go. I was just insulted by my 12-year-old. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of my eyeball look. Thanks again, Beth. All right. Are you done? <laughs> Go. What can I be in the ending? All right, guys. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'm going. Bye.